Hello out there in YouTube land. Welcome back. Today we're discussing the history of the werewolf in literary fiction. And since we've already done another video on the subject of werewolf folklore, we're sticking to literally just stories written by authors instead of a discussion that included the werewolf folklore. Right. So the figure of the werewolf, kind of iconic, he starts appearing in a lot of the romances actually during medieval times as cursed people who would help knights on their quest. So you can find examples of that in Bisclerve or Yame del Palerme. And the werewolf also got associated with demons in the Christian religion, so that ended up in literature as a satanic beast who craved human flesh. And it kind of overlaps with the appearance of the grim fairy tales werewolves in the story of Little Red Riding Hood with your granny. Yes. During the 19th century, the werewolf really took form in stories. Hughes, The Werewolf by Sutherland Menzies was published in 1838, and a demonic representation is featured in The White Wolf of the Harris Mountains in an episode of the novel The Phantom Ship that came out in 1839 by Marriott, which features a demonic femme fatale who transforms from woman to wolf. And that's kind of unique because a lot of the folklore, if you remember from our first video, demonic influences weren't really no. discussed in the folklore, but they're seen in the literature. Mm -hmm. So in Wagner the Werewolf in 1847 by G.W.M. Reynolds specifically has a man who, although kind-hearted, kind of agrees with a deal with the devil to become a werewolf for 18 months. <laughs> Random. <clears throat> while accompanying, accompanying Dr. Faustus in killing humans in exchange for wealth and youth. Okay. The Man Wolf in 1831 by Leech Ritchie features the werewolf in an 11th century setting, um, while Catherine Crow wrote what is believed to be the first werewolf short story by woman, a story of a werewolf in 1846. And other werewolf stories of this period include The Wolf Leader in 1857 by Alexander Dumas and Hugh de Lou in 1869 by Erkman Chatrain. And we have a vicious female werewolf who appears in the guise of a seductive femme fatale before transforming into a lupine form to devour her hapless male victims in the protagonist of Clemens Hausmann's acclaimed the Werewolf, published in 1896. I'm seeing a theme with women <laughs> being werewolves in literature. Ah! All right. <laughs> so in the 20th century, there is a literal boom of werewolf short stories and novels published both in England and America. The famed English story writer Algernon Blackwood wrote a number of werewolf short stories, often with an occult aspect to them. American pulp magazines of the 19... 20 to 1950s, such as Weird Tales, feature many werewolf tales such, written by authors such as H. Warner Munn, Seabury Quinn, Manly Wade Wellman, Robert E. Howard, who actually made his own contribution to the genre in Wolf's Head. The most renowned werewolf novel of the 20th century was The Werewolf of Paris that came out in 1933 by American author Guy Endor. This has been pretty much accorded classic status and is considered by some to be the Dracula of werewolf literature. Then we get into 1977. Gary Brandner published The Howling, <laughs> which would later become one of the best werewolf movies to date, and we will get into that later. Oh, yes. In 1983, even Stephen King took a turn at the werewolf mythos with his novel Psycho the Werewolf, which was also made into a great werewolf film called Silver Bullet. Mm hmm. Which has been on a lot lately. Yes, it has. So, more recently, the portrayal of werewolf has taken a more sympathetic turn where you know, early tales were <laughs> these demonic. We'll yeah. eat, they will eat you, no matter yeah. what. Mm -hmm. Now we get the more sympathetic turn to the werewolf with the rise of environmentalism and kind of the other back to nature ideals. The werewolf is seen as more of a representation of humanity allied more closely with nature. So author Whiteley Stryber wrote The Wild in 1991, in which the werewolf is portrayed as a medium through which to 
bring human intelligence and spirit back to nature and its foundation. And then the whole heroic werewolf ideal has returned via the paranormal romance genre, where wolf-like characteristics such as loyalty are shown as positive traits in a prospective mate. So just like vampires, mm. werewolves don't show any evidence of slowing down in literature. We hope, we hope, yes. they keep howling for years to come. So what is your favorite werewolf novel? Post that below for us, and we will try to read it. Until next time. Bye.